It's the magic of math here, and today we're finding probability when we spin a spinner and we roll a number cube. Here's our question today. This question has four parts, and you're asked to be sure to label each part of your response. I hope you have paper and pencil ready to work along with me. If not, pause and get some. So we have students who are playing a game. They're going to roll a number cube once, and then they're going to spin an arrow on a spinner once. Now we understand that the number cube has faces numbered 1 through 6, so anytime we roll a number cube, there are six different outcomes that could happen. We have a spinner with three equal size sections, which tells us that it's an equal likely chance that it would land on blue, red, or green when we spin our spinner for three possible outcomes. So rolling a number cube, six different things that can happen on that event. Spinning the spinner is an event with three different outcomes. Now we're ready for part A. Part A asks us, what is the probability? that on a student's turn, the number cube will land with a five on the top face. Be sure to show or explain how you got your answer. Go ahead and pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're finding the probability that the number cube is going to land on a five. So we are going to make an organized list to understand this probability. So we know that there are six outcomes when we roll the number cube. We're focused on just a five happening when we roll this number cube. So that is one out of six outcomes. So that means our probability is one out of six of rolling a five. Here's part B. What is the probability that on a student's turn, the number cube will land with an odd number on the top face? You're asked to show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause here and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're finding probability that the number cube is going to land on an odd number. So let's use our organized list again. We know that we have six possible outcomes when this event happens and we roll the number cube. So let's identify the odd outcomes. That could be a one, a three, or a five. So each of these individually have a one in six chance of happening. But if we can have any of the outcomes be odd, we know that we have three out of our six outcomes possible for this odd, which means that's equal to one half or a 50% chance. So 50% chance or one out of two probability that you're going to roll an odd number when you roll a number cube. Here's part C. What is the probability that on a student's turn, the number cube will land with a two on the top face and the arrow on the spinner will land on the section that is green? Please show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So again, we're finding probability and this time it's the number cube landing on two and spinning that the section is green. So this is two events. We call this compound probability. So we're going to find the event that the first event and the second event have occurred. So let's make a tree diagram for this. We're going to start with our tree diagram. The first event has six possible outcomes because I'm rolling this number cube. So they are one, two, three, four, five, six. So my first event makes six branches. My second event is spinning our spinner, which has three different outcomes, blue, red, or green. So each one of these outcomes from my first event needs to have branches that come off that are three branch branches each for each of those outcomes. And we're gonna label them blue, red, and green. So I could have two blue, roll two red, roll two, spin green, three blue, three red, three green, four blue, four red, four green, and we keep on going blue, red, green, blue, red, green, and we have completed our tree diagram. So this shows me my first event and then my second event. And I can see that when I add these all up, 
I have a possible of 18 different outcomes when I roll the number cube and spin the spinner. So now let's go back to what we're asked. We're asked what happens if I'm going to roll a two. So using my tree diagram, I'm going to focus on my branch with two. And then we want to focus that it's a two and then the spinner is on green. So out of my 18 outcomes, only one of those is a two and spinning green. So we know that the probability of rolling a two and spinning and landing on green on our spinner is one out of 18. Now let's check it using our compound probability. We know that to roll a two, we have a one in six opportunity of doing that. That's the probability. This is one out of our six opportunities. Now to spin green on our spinner, we know that that is one out of three. So we're gonna multiply the first event by the probability of the second event, multiply my numerators, multiply my denominators, and I get one out of 18 chance, and it agrees with the probability that we got from our tree diagram as well. So two different ways to come up with your compound probability. Let's do part D. You're asked what is the probability that on a student's turn, the number cube will land with an even number on the top face and the arrow on the spinner will land on the section that is not blue. Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause now and come back when you're done. Welcome back. So we're finding the probability that we're gonna have a number cube with an even number and the arrow on the spinner is not blue, meaning it's gonna be red or green. So we're gonna use our tree diagram that we made in the previous part, and we're focused on not blue. So we have first event, spinning, uh, rolling an even number, second event, ro spinning a number that is not blue. So we still have 18 possible outcomes that could happen. Let's identify all our choices for the number cube being even. So we have a two, a four, or a six. So three of our outcomes of rolling are even. Now we want all the ones that are not blue for our second event. So it could be two, red, green, four, red, green, six, red, green. Those are all my options that are not blue. So we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six of our 18 outcomes that follow this probability. Six out of 18 simplifies to one out of three. So we have a one in three chance of rolling even and spinning not blue. Now let's do this with our multiplication. We're gonna find the probability of our first event. We have three out of our six outcomes of rolling a number cube to be even, and then of spinning the spinner, two of our sections are not blue out of three. So we're gonna multiply by two out of three. We have a two and three chance of spinning not blue. So when we multiply this, we're gonna get six out of 18, which simplifies to one third. So the probability of rolling an even number and spinning not blue is a one in three chance. So there you have it. That's how we find simple and compound probability. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Hope you have a great day and come back soon.